Hello. For modeling any process, it's important to get the physical and thermodynamic property of few components or the mixtures that we are going to work with. So here we will see how we can use HiSys to obtain such type of information. So as an example, we take a nitrogen liquefaction process and uh, here we will use HiSys to obtain the PVT data, that is pressure, volume, temperature data. The reason is that this type of inf this type of data will determine the equipment size and cost. So we add uh, our component as nitrogen nitrogen okay close this and the fluid package we choose pink robinson close here and enter the simulation environment and um, add material stream rename the stream as nitrogen okay and and the temperature is a cryogenic process so we choose 1100 degrees c and the pressure as one bar for now and later on we will see the effect of pressure on vo uh, volume and we will have one for now and the composition is is one is a pure nitrogen so it's one now the stream is solved so and we will we will use spreadsheet together with a case study for determining the volar, molar volume so we import data here the import variables so now nitrogen and the stream is nitrogen and the variable is pressure we add that and another variable is a molar volume so molar volume is one of a a molar density so we take a molar density and then take the uh, inverse of it one over the molar density so one over one over the molar density will give us the molar volume and this is the molar volume at a temperature of minus 100 degrees c and pressure of one bar but now we want to get the uh, data pvt data over a certain pressure range so to do that we need to add a case study so the variables here we need to insert the variable nitrogen we have pressure we have pressure and and then a3 which is the molar volume so we add that one and the case study here we come here add the case study and uh, our independent uh, variable here is pressure whereas the uh, molar volume is dependent so we have the case study and then we click on view so if we want to there are two options here a nested and a discrete one so the discrete one it means that you want to evaluate the effect of pressure at a discrete points so let's say we have four points and those points are at one bar we want to evaluate at one bar and 10 bar and 100 bar and the fourth one is let's say 1000 bar okay so we have this and then we click on start and this it's the simulation is done and then we can click on results to see the results so there is a decreasing trend so we can have the graph the table or a transpose table like this so it gives us the values one 14 1.34 and so on so these are the results so we can we can uh, also 
use the next option and then let's see how it works so we need to give a low bound let's say one bar and the upper bound uh, let's say a 1000 and the step size we can give uh, let's say 200 bar okay 200 bar so we have five points okay so we click on start and the simulation will give a results and we can see the result here so we have the graph we have like the graph is four points and then we have the table form the data like this so that way we solve the case study another way of doing this could be using the utilities here utilities and then we use a property table so we add a utility we have a property table here and the variable one is for our case is pressure and uh, another variable is temperature and it has a state i mean one value and that is 100 degrees c and the pressure varies over a, over a, a range certain range and that is we will uh, choose incremental here and we can choose incremental and then give one one bar to 1000 bar and the increment we can increase by say 100 and uh, the dependent uh, variables the dependent the dependent uh, variable we need to add the stream earlier we need to add that one and then the dependent variable now we need to add the molar density okay molar density add the molar density okay and then we just simply calculate then now we got the results for molar density so we can take this value and then take inverse of it in the spreadsheet and then find the molar volume that uh, concludes the exercise thank you